system starts. After push up, HRSS uh, XYZ axis needs to go back home. So we press the home button here. We press home button and then Z up. Oh. And Z starts to go home and then we uh, set the Y. And the machine starts to move to Y Okay, now it's at the Y home position and then we press X and the spindle starts to move along X axis Okay, now the machine it's at the home position, so now we can start to use the machine. Here shows machine X Y Z all to zero, and then we first we use the offset. We press the offset setting here, and then we use this arrow button to move the cursor. Here and uh, move the cursor to X, and then we use the control panel to move the spindle to the right position of our origin point, the start point we want it to be. You need to activate this button to make this light on to use the manual control panel okay okay suppose we can we want to start the work from here so we now we get the coordinates at here so so we press this workpiece coordinates we press this button yeah then then we press uh latch machine coordinates yeah it asks do you want to load the lace coordinates we press yes so here we can see the user coordinates is the same as the machine coordinates now. So now we can uh, we can use the arrow button to move the cursor to Y, and then we do the same work. Press this button and uh, yes, and load the machine coordinates and uh, yes so here we can see both x y equals to the x y here then we press the back button we use the two set we press the two set button and here we use the arrow button Move the cursor to the geometry column and then here we want to make the cursor we make the cursor here same as this number so we press minus two one two 
212.8 you can see here minus 212.8 and then we press enter so here it changed to 212.8 Then we change the second tool manually and uh, also we put the tool at the top surface of the workpiece and then we do the same work here by press uh, uh, move the cursor to the second tool and then we insert this we insert this value to instead this one to instead this one okay we press minus two oh, okay we can backspace to change this two three seven point eight this this okay we press enter so it becomes this so we do the same work uh, with all the other with all the other tools okay Af after this we go back to the menu and we press program and uh, we do the file manager and uh, uh, these G-code files are already uh, exist in the system memory. If you want to read two paths from your USB disk, you need to press uh, file transfer and then press uh, file import. Here we can use the arrow button to select the files we want and then we press select and here it's be selected with the mark here and then we press copy and then it will be copied into your inner memory if there's already a same name in your inner memory to ask you whether to overwrite it or not you can uh, either choose yes or not accordingly okay so uh, after imported the uh, j-code files into your inner memory you can here to choose the one you want and then press enter and here we can press the execute button to run the file then we press the press the press auto button to uh, to make the machine starts to work automatically if you want to uh, pause the work and use the control Panel, manually control panel to uh, to operate the machine you can press this this button to active the menu uh, operation version um, menu operation mode okay then we press uh, this we press this and then we press circle start Mm. Then we can run the machine by swing the wheel on the control panel and the machine starts to move. If we turn off the menu operation button light, it will become the automatic moving. As, as the first, you may need to activate the manual operation mode 
to ensure that all your tools won't run across your clamp because if your tool pads are not well made your spindle will hit on this and your spindle or tools will be damaged so after you checked everything is okay and you want to run the work fast then you can disable the manual operation mode and uh, use the auto operation mode to let the machine work automatically for you okay so the machine will do as the G code says to finish your work one two by one two one by one okay this is the basic operation of the syntax system of your ATC machine we can use this button to control the travel speed of the machine and use this to change your feed rate speed and use these buttons to change the RPM of your spindle the rotating speed of your spindle okay okay during the work you can press this simulation switch to turn on the simulation so you can see the uh, simulation of the two paths in time with your spindle okay F1 button is used to lift or um, lift up or lift down the dust, the dust hood on the window. F2 button is used to uh, loosen or suck the two hold on the window. This button is to uh, turn on the spindle and make it uh, rotate clockwise and this is to stop the spindle okay and uh, these two buttons are used to control the vacuum pump if you have it mm.